Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 8.4, naming quadrilaterals. Let's get started. Today's objective is I can name quadrilaterals by classifying them based on their sides and angles with 100% accuracy in multiple attempts. Please pause to write the I can and by statement in your digital math notebook now. All right, guys, we have talked about quadrilaterals before. Quadrilaterals starts with the word quad, and like a quad that you would ride, it has four wheels or four sides. However, just naming it based on how many sides it has is not very specific. Just like we have different types of triangles, we have different types of quadrilaterals. And we name them based on their properties. So let's look at a couple together. On this first shape that we have here up at the top, this has four sides. And it looks like it has no right angles and none of its sides are parallel because if we extended these lines they would run into each other. So if it has no sides that are parallel and no right angles then we can only give it the one name quadrilateral. In the next row we have another quadrilateral and this one has one pair of parallel sides. If it has one pair of parallel sides, then it gets a specific name. That name is trapezoid. But if it has more than one pair of specific of parallel sides, then we use that word parallel in it. It's called a parallelogram when both pairs are parallel. Now getting even more specific than that, we go from just the sides to the parallel sides to the angles. On the next row, we have two shapes that are similar to each other, but one has right angles and one doesn't. The one on the left side has congruent sides, which remember means all the sides are equal, but it does not have any right angles. We call this shape a rhombus. However, when we have sides that are parallel and we have right angles, then we get to call this a rectangle. Now if we have all of those things, if we have two pairs of parallel sides and we have congruent sides and all of the angles are 90 degrees, when all of those things happen in a shape, then we get to call it a square. All right, friends, let's continue together and define some shapes together. All right, fifth graders, you have this page in your digital math notebook. Let's go ahead and complete it together. We are looking to match the definition to the word on the left. Our first word is the word quadrilateral. Remember that the word quad means four. So we're looking for a shape with four sides. Let's see. Not right angles, not parallel. All right. Four sides and four angles. Four sides, four angles. That would be E. A quadrilateral is a shape with four sides and four angles. Our next shape is trapezoid. A trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. It doesn't have right angles. Well, it could, but its defining feature is one pair of parallel sides. So that would be C. Our next shape is a parallelogram, and that means that all of the sides are parallel. There are two pairs 
of parallel sides. So that would be B. Our next shape is a rhombus. And remember, a rhombus has to have congruent sides. So for our last, for, our, for a rhombus, that would be F for congruent sides. Getting even more specific than that, a rectangle. See, a rectangle doesn't have congruent sides, but it does have right angles. So let's look at the last two. One says right angles, and one says congruent sides and right angles. A rectangle doesn't have congruent sides because two sides are longer than the other two. So that would be A, which is our last one to be four congruent sides and four right angles. So that one would be D. Please pause if you need to copy the answers into your digital math notebook. All right, fifth graders, it's time for the lesson activity. In this lesson activity, we have two different shapes and we're being asked some questions about them. So let's complete the questions together. Number one says, give the best name for the shape below and list the properties that gives it that name. Well, let's see, when I look at that shape, I see that it has four sides. So that means that it's a quadrilateral. And it's got two pairs of parallel sides. So it's a parallelogram. It doesn't have congruent sides because it's got two long sides and two short sides, but it does look like it has right angles. When I put all those features together, I know that this shape is a rectangle. All right, here's our second question. What is one geometric property that the shapes below have in common? What is one way that they are different? And it says we need to include the name of the shapes in our answer. So let's first look at what they have in common and that will help us name them. So it looks like both of these shapes have four sides, which means they're quadrilaterals. It also looks like they have two pairs of parallel sides, which means they're not trapezoids. They are parallelograms. When I look at the side lengths, they look like they are all the same. They are all congruent. So these are things they have the same. But when I look at the shape on the left, that looks like I have right angles. When I look at the shape on the right, this looks like I have acute and right angles. So that would mean that the shape on the left is a square and the shape on the right is a rhombus. And what they have in common is congruent sides And what they have different is right angles. Make sure you pause to type these notes into your digital math notebook before moving on. Great job, fifth graders. You're almost finished. When your digital math notebook is complete and you feel comfortable with this lesson, complete the exit slip to show your teacher your understanding. Great job!